Okay, what I have here is the Roomba from iRobot. Uh, they sent me the 560 model, and if you're not familiar with what a Roomba is, we'll get into more detail about it, but basically, it's an autonomous robot vacuum. So what it does is it'll run around your carpet and vacuum everything up for you, uh, hopefully not getting under your feet. And, uh, and then it has this home base here, the cat will get out of the way, that it comes back to, and it has a beacon on the base, so it knows where to come back to the home base uh, when it's done or when it's in need of a charge. Uh, there's buttons on here that you can tell it to do that as well, and I'll get into that in more detail as well. Um, but for starters, it's already on, so once it's on here, we can get it to do a voice demo, uh, which is the first thing that we want to do. And, uh, and to do that, we just press and hold the dock button, which is under this brightly lit clean button. So I'm going to do that now, and then I'll shut up so we can hear the voice demo. First, I have to hit the clean button to get it out of the docking. And then I hit dock. Okay, so we've heard the voice demo. Uh, we know some of the basics about what it does, and now I want to actually see it do some cleaning. So um, to do that, right now it's just stationary, and when it's stationary, all you have to do is hit the green clean button on the front, or on the top here, and it'll start cleaning for you. So I'm going to go ahead and start doing that right now. Now when it cleans, it's a good idea, whether you're human or cat, to get out of its way. Now in our case, I only have one beacon fired up, and that beacon's over here. Because back here, we already did a little vacuuming, and I don't want it to get trapped back there. It's kind of weird back there. But, um, so we have the beacon there to keep him out of there, and over here we've got it blocked off. So we're going to let them roam around this area. And if you notice, this blue light keeps coming on. It's because we purposefully didn't vacuum for a few days uh, to see if we could get the floor a little dirty. And so apparently the blue light of shame keeps coming on and telling us that our floor is really dirty. Which is good, because that's a good test for it. Now the Roomba is apparently going to pack itself and ship itself somewhere. <laughs> 